Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, baby, welcome to the party. So today, <laughs> so today I'm getting an MRI for the first time. You might be wondering why I'm not like sad or anything or like I'm actually excited to get it because long story short, because I don't have a lot of time, I need to be there at one. Long story short, I have migraines and I think tension headaches too. Um, and so I'll explain all of that later, but I've been wanting to get an MRI for the longest just to make sure everything's okay with me because nothing works and it's just really annoying. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm finally getting my MRI and I'll see you guys once I get to the hospital. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me, but I'm in the bathroom right now. I just used the bathroom because she told me I probably should. My MRI is gonna be like 20 minutes. That's the shortest MRI you can get. A lot of people have them for hours. Um, I have to take off all my jewelry. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't really have much to say. I'm gonna change into a gown. Um, they're gonna give me headphones. I gotta get a new mask without the metal in it. And I think that's pretty much, or as far as I know, that's what's it. This don't even stay up for me. Every time I talk, it go down. That's ridiculous. But yeah, um, I'm going to update y'all as I get more information. So I'm currently in this room. I'm going to lock my phone in here. She gave me some socks to change into. Um, and two gowns so I can be covered in the front and the back. I'm going to strip, take everything off except for my underwear and my socks. And then she's going to give me a warm blanket for the MRI. So I got to hurry up. Okay, so that didn't take as long as I thought. Got on my gown, my socks. Here's my key. And I gotta say bye to you guys. Wish me luck on my MRI. It's the hair for me. But it went well, guys. So, I'm gonna throw my linen in here. lady came in here for a second but okay. I'm keeping the socks <laughs> because they're comfortable so and who else will want my baby socks nobody guys so i'm back for my mri so why i got the mri in the first place because i have really bad migraines and tension headaches so sometimes i get them and they're like excruciating and i have to turn off the lights and go to sleep and then other times just, just like small little shocks like in my head in the back of my head above my eyes my temples get swollen um they're really bad like in the middle of the night like some people can sleep them off but I mean, and I do sleep them off, but they don't come off. If you get what I mean, like they still hurt in my sleep. And it's just a really bad thing that I deal with. That's why I really don't take medication for it or like any type of pills normally, because I get them so often to the point where I don't want to just pop pills that often. Like, I mean, I get you supposed to take them when you have pain, but that's just not who I am. I don't want to take them a lot, but I do take like Excedrin or Ibuprofen if like, it gets really excruciating and, I, and I'm outside and I can't lay down or turn off lights or anything. So that's the reason why I went today because I finally was able to give me a neurologist appointment. I was literally begging for years, y'all, for them to let me see a neurologist for my headaches. Um, and nobody would give me like, I was like, can I have tests? And everybody would be like, no, we don't do tests. Um, and so I finally met a great OB who gave me a referral to a neurologist and I seen him and they recommended me some things um there's actually okay I'm gonna just go through them real quick in case anybody has the same issue so there's four different types of medications you can't get the last one unless you fail the two um two of the other three so one is like an anti-seizure anti-seizure medication um another one is a high blood pressure medication and then there's an antidepressant 
And then the last one that you can get, and I think that works the best, but you have to like fail the other two. Um, and that's like an injection. And so I personally, I don't know if I'm gonna go on medication. Right now I'm taking natural vitamins. And if those don't work, then I might pick a medication cause I just can't keep living like this y'all. I've been having headaches since I can remember, like since I've been little. So basically all of my life, I just have really bad headaches. I started keeping a migraine diary this summer. So I think I started in like June. And I haven't really found any like consistency. So yeah, I don't know. I know caffeine is a big starter, but I don't drink a lot of pop. I don't drink coffee. Only thing I do eat is chocolate. Like, I know I love chocolate. Um, so I don't know if that contributes to it, but I just don't know what it is. So that's why um, my neurologist that I finally was to go see, he was like, I feel like every migraine patient deserves an MRI it's a slight chance that like anything is wrong but like you know he just wanted to cover his tracks and I am grateful for that because I actually just wanted one to make sure it was nothing wrong with me because if you have headaches like as often as I have them you feel like anything can happen like at any moment and you have no control over it like literally I can be driving and like I'll get a shock in my head and that's dangerous like <laughs> something could happen so I'm grateful that he um, gave me an MRI. So I went today finally, and the process was basically I went in. Um, so I went in, took off all my jewelry. I answered a question about any metal in my mouth. I do have retainers in my mouth, as y'all know, but that didn't really, I mean, it was nothing that I could do about that because um, they're permanent, so I couldn't go get them removed before the MRI. Um, but it was okay. So, I actually got, because I personally thought an uh, MRI was just you go in the scan and, like, they just take some images of your brain. But I was, like, researching, like, a few, like two days before, because um, I always do that. Like, when something's happening, I um, look at YouTube videos. And I didn't know, like, it was actually, like, noises played and stuff. And I was, like, reading comments, and some people had got medications and um, UVs to, like, I don't know what it's for, but that wasn't in my case because I just got a simple MRI. I got, um, it was about 20 minutes, and that's, like, the shortest MRI they have. People who have, like, serious conditions or, like, other things that need to be checked out, they actually can be up in there for hours. Um, so mine was only 20 minutes. So basically what I did was I went in the locker room, got dressed, um, I'm not sure what the extra socks were for. I'm kind of curious. But I actually kept the socks with me because they're comfortable. So I wore those out. But anyways, got dressed. Um, the lady gave me like a little hair net type thing to put my hair in. Earplugs. I couldn't take my phone in there. So I wasn't able to record all of that. But earplugs um, for the sound. And then like a warm blanket because it's cold in the room because of the um, whatever like the machine, the noise and stuff. It sounds like a washing machine. But anyways, the machine makes it cold in the room for some reason. So she gave me a warm blanket. She talked to me for a while. And then it was just me and the, and the scanner. I closed my eyes <laughs> for a lot of the time. She told me, like, I don't know. She's um, She was actually a patient. So, like, she wasn't, like, a doctor. So she wasn't able to, like, go over anything with me. But she said, like, that's the best way to do it, I guess, for her, like, for what she knows. Um, and I went in there, like, I would open my eyes sometimes, but it was, like, relaxing and close your eyes and just think about other stuff besides the noises that was going on. Um, and so, yeah, it was basically just, like, knocking sounds, washing machine sounds. Um, I don't really know how else to describe it. Some were, like, vibrating, like, you could feel, like, your whole body vibrating and, like, the noises got louder as you went. I would say it wasn't as loud as I thought it was gonna be like when I was looking um at reviews and stuff people were like the noise is just really annoying it's really loud and it wasn't as loud as I thought it was gonna be it was loud and it was one in particular that I did not like but like I wasn't dying in there if you get what I mean like it wasn't that bad so then after that after like 20 minutes went by I was able to see my brain but she wasn't able to go over with me because she's not a doctor she was patient um and I don't know what that means. I don't know why patients are. I mean, she's been working at the hospital for a while, but she called herself a patient. So I don't know what that's about. But um, I'm going to be able to contact the doctor like through an app and stuff. And then my follow up is in a few months. Um, but it seemed like everything was okay. 
I don't know, my brain looked pretty normal to me. And she said I did good, so I don't know. But um, other than that, that was my experience. Um, it wasn't completely bad, but it also, like, just me being in there, like, it wasn't a bad experience, but it also made me feel like, like, I don't want to do that often. And I was thinking about people who have to do that often. It's just, I don't know. Like, it made me feel like I just don't want to be in the hospital often, like, getting tests done. And I just, it made me feel bad for people who, like, have to, like, just stay in the hospital and constantly get tests because they don't know what's wrong with them. Or they got to keep, like, or they got to monitor what's going wrong with them. So, yeah, I'm just grateful that everything seems to be normal. And I guess I'm just going to have to take a medication and get rid of my headaches or something but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you have any questions about migraines or anything or how i cope with them which i don't i just sit down but if you have any questions for me you can always reach me at my socials um link down below and or in the comments so if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe turn on my post notifications so you don't miss my next videos and follow me on all of my socials. See you guys in my next video. Bye!